And you can tell this is a place that they're being taught something new. John Eustace has been there for a while and he's, he's taught them, you know, his own beliefs and his own way of thinking. When one is coming in, he's telling them something new. We have to bear in mind. This is a game that even if, okay, now it's not going to happen. But even if Birmingham loses this game, do not start calling for Wayne Rooney to be sacked. Please don't do that. Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we are reacting to Wayne Rooney's press conference for the game against Old City. Listen, I was trying on my TikTok earlier. I was telling people, people like Bakuna has to be starting in this game. Miyoshi has to be starting. This is a game in St. Andrews on a Wednesday night. Oh my God. The energy. I'm going to be there tomorrow. I'm saying, I'm saying on the geometric lower. I'm saying there. So if you see me, come say hello. This is a massive game. So I'm intrigued to see what it's going to say. And hopefully it gives some hints about players that's going to be starting. Let's see. Um, I'll start by asking for any final reflections from the performance on Saturday. Um, yeah, um, I didn't think it was good enough. And of course, we're... We're going through a period where we're trying to change the identity of the club and um, the players have felt have been great in taking that information in but I think on Saturday forgot what we were asking of them and I think the way we wanted to press we didn't do that at all um, um, and then I think when once Middlesbrough put us under a bit of pressure um, we retrieved really um, and, and played deeper which um, See, already, I'm liking the honesty. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm liking the honesty. Obviously, I wasn't at the game, but I did look at the highlights. And you can tell this is a place that they're being taught something new. John Eustace has been there for a while. And he's, he's taught them you know, his own beliefs and his own way of thinking. When one is coming in, he's telling them something new. We have to bear in mind. This is a game that even if... Okay, now it's not going to happen. But even if Birmingham loses this game, do not start calling for Wayne Rooney to be sacked. Please don't do that. That's why you don't want to put pressure on the players already. We have great players. I'm loving the fact that he's taking responsibility already. He said, look, it wasn't good enough. So I'm intrigued to see what he has to say. Hopefully he's going to talk about something new that's going to be implemented tomorrow. Let's see. Um, I do want, which I understand as well, of course I do. Um, that's that, what they've been used to. But um, So there was a lot for me to reflect on to to speak to the players about and trying to improve that. And, and to be fair, the, the difference today before the whole game to the day before the Millsburg game and the players and how they've taken the information in is there was a big difference so that's a pleasing time for me um, but we know it's a transition period for us in, in that but I also understand that while we're trying to change that and change the mindset we still need to pick up points so um, I'm pleased the game's come round quite quickly um, for us, an opportunity for us to do that. And we saw Ramel Donovan in the squad on Saturday as well and your coaching staff down watching the 21s yesterday. Is is it really important for you to get the youth more involved? Yeah, and I think he was on the bench because he, he deserved to be. It, it's, and that's, I said this um, before the Borough game, it's not because he's a 16-year-old. No, listen, you can't be sitting on the bench. I'm not going to lie to you, I didn't know who Romer Donovan is. Let me know down below, who is this guy? At 16 as well. Because bear in mind, this was what happened to Jude Bellingham. He was only 16 back then. But I don't think when Rooney is going to use this youth yet. Because he's a new manager. He's not going to take risk on players that he doesn't know yet. I feel, in my opinion, obviously the coaches know the players already. But I think he's not going to take the risk. He's not going to be standing them, obviously. He might be bringing them on if, let's say, the Blues are winning 3-4-0. I don't see him bringing a 16-year-old on as a new manager if it's like 1-0 or 1-1 one, one, and he's not sure. I don't see that happening. Again, let me know what you guys think. That's just my opinion. It's my opinion. Let's go. Bench for Birmingham City if you don't Sorry. deserve to. Listen, you can't be sitting on the bench for Birmingham City if you don't deserve to. So, um, he, he deserved it. Again, he's done well. He was the best player on the pitch yesterday in the oh. under-21 game. Mm. So there's a chance he might be on the bench again tomorrow. Of course, I need to be careful with him as well um, because young players need guidance. And um, But no, I've been delighted with him. Really impressed since he came in. Um, so he being the initial 22-man squad which will arrive at the stadium tomorrow. Um, but I just need to make a decision on whether he's on the bench. It'll be your first game at St Andrews uh, as, as Gafford tomorrow night as well. The capacity uh, just been announced will be increased to 23,500. How much are you looking forward to stepping out in front of the home crowd for the first time? 
Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I think um, there's moments in you know a career of a player or a manager, and um, always your first home game is is a big moment, one which you remember. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, my family have come down, and all the owners are coming in um, to the game as well, and um, big occasion. But ultimately, it only becomes. Sorry, sorry, I'm getting chills already because of the energy. Oh my god! Last game I was at, because last game was uh, was the West Brom game. Oh my god! The energy that game. Now, I feel like the fact that obviously that was a derby game, but I feel like it's gonna be similar. The fact that it's you know it's his first home game. Because people are really expecting something of him. And I like the fact that he's been honest. He's saying, oh yeah, Roman Donovan is going to be in the 22-man squad. He's not sure. I think he's going to put him on the bench. I think so. Because he knows that's what supporters want to see. Supporters always want to see, you know, young players coming through. Even if you're not playing them. Just putting, just getting them involved. Let me know what you guys think again. Even if you follow me, follow me on TikTok. So you, or follow me on Instagram. It's at Edichi. That's him, Edichi on Instagram. Let's continue. Comes a... Uh enjoyable occasion if you win the game so um, my focus is on, is on that and, and nothing else around it and then after the game if we get three points um, it'll make it a more memorable day for me. Of course you'll be coming up against Liam Rossini who you'll know well from your time together at Derby what are you expecting to see from his whole City Tide? Yeah Liam's very similar to myself in terms of identity, identity of how he wants to play they've changed actually a little bit of late and um, playing um, really the way I play, um, which that's goalkeeper being brave and taking the ball, defenders being comfortable on the ball, full backs getting high and wide. Um, so very similar to, to what, where I want to get to with the team here. Yeah. Um, but of late he has changed a little bit, playing very similar to the way Brighton play. Um, so th that's one for us to, to be ready to recognise early on to see which way the which style of playing, um, but Liam's a fantastic coach. Um, he was a massive yeah. help to me. Do you know what? I'm very, I'm very. This is one reason why I'm happy that Wayne Rooney is the manager because the game I watched. Don't get me wrong, I like Eustace as a manager, uh, but I felt like they were just too defensive. The Blues owners Eustace were just too defensive. I was watching the game, man, and people like them. You have someone like them, Bailey and Bakuna. Well, literally, probably the best wingers. I don't know, not the best wingers. I'm not gonna. Not gonna push it. Let's relax because Leicester are some good players. But yeah, Leicester, Ipswich, Sunderland can keep going. But yeah, when it comes to having wingers, you have people like Dembele. Don't let them, don't leave them alone for ages doing nothing. Give the ball to these players. Get eye and wide. Get the defenders eye, in my opinion, anyway. I'm a winger, so if I'm a winger, what I want is I want the ball to me as much as I can get it because the longer the game goes and you're passing the ball to, from centre back to right back to centre back to right back to keeper the game just gets boring get the game, get the ball to the wingers get the ball to the strikers again I'm probably just chatting shite aren't I? yeah let me know down below thank you but I'll be counting a great friend and um, obviously wish him all the best in his career I think he's doing a fantastic job um, but of course tomorrow um, same as Sati whether it's a friend or not, you want to beat them. So, um, yeah, um, it'd be good to see him after the game. But ultimately, um, we want to beat each other. True. It's only been a few days since Borough as well, but you get the sense from the lads that they're really itching to get back out there. How keen are they to go and fight for a result? I hope they are. <laughs> um, yeah, of course. Um, it was, as I said, I was a bit frustrated after the game on Saturday, but I get it, I understand it. Um, there's a different... Um, Mindset, different mentality, um, um, in in with the ball especially. I think without the ball, I think the really good honest group of lads um, and a bit of guidance of what I want. Um, without the ball, um, it's not not huge change. It's just doing it higher up the pitch, um, and then but with the ball, it's 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 a clear change of mindset and mentality to how I want to play. So. Um, the lads have been great in taking the information in, much better over the last couple of days in, in doing that on the training pitch and now the challenge is to go and do it on the pitch on a, in a match time. In terms of injury news, you mentioned last week that Ethan Laird was back on the training field. Will he be in contention for tomorrow? No, not for tomorrow. Um, Ethan and George have trained um, today with the team. Um, the other lads um, who were injured will all be after the international break. So. Um, of course, we need to build the fitness up. 
um, with with the two of them. They're both very quick players, um, so we need to make sure they're right and ready before they come and play. Um, it'd be a push to get. I think George is probably a little bit behind still, Ethan. It'd be a push to get Ethan involved on Saturday, but there's, there's a slight chance that he might be so. Um, but we need to be um, cautious as well because, um, as I said, the injuries they've had, um, if they reoccur, then um, it won't be good for them. And finally, tomorrow, St Andrews will pay tribute to the great Sir Bobby Charlton. You spoke about his passing over the weekend, but how important is it that the footballing world remembers him and celebrates his life properly? Yeah, he's a, a great, um, and that's without the football side of things. He's a, he's a great man, great person, um, and someone who, you know, the conversations I have with him, um, the guidance at times, the help um, he gave was, was first class. And, um, and then you look at his football and career, um, won, won everything, World Cup, was something obviously I tried to to do and, and didn't manage to do and um, but then you look at what happened in, in 58 Munich and um, to then go on to win the, the European Cup in 68 um, was really a, a mo an iconic moment I believe um, in, in football certainly in England and um, sad sad day um, when when the news broke on Saturday afternoon um, but he'll never be forgotten he'll be remembered Gaffer thank you very much yeah absolutely fantastic to hear to be fair you want a transparent manager you don't want someone that's going to be hiding behind you know someone that's going to speak to the uh, to the supporters because what you want as a supporter is to be able to hear what's going on in your club you don't want to be supporting the club paying to go see them spend all this money and knowing nothing about the club that's beautiful to hear I do I do hope Birmingham will get a big win tomorrow I think not just a win a Big win, massive win. When I say big win, I'm talking about three, four goals, hopefully. Because if it's a loss, it's going to be so sad for the city and we don't want that. Yeah, if you guys like that, you want to see more, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, comment, share it and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.